to disclaimer. Hello everyone, and for this video, we'll be taking a look at the Beyblade X Phoenix Feather Coro Coro Promotional Beyblade. Now, before we continue with this video, if you are new to the channel, subscribe and comment your thoughts. And as well, check out mallabays.com. Uh, now, we will be eventually selling, you know, more Phoenix Feathers. I don't know whether it's going to be by itself or in bundles. They actually went out right away when we, we put up uh, the, the listings. So, I do appreciate all the support on our store. Uh, it greatly, greatly appreciated, my friends. Uh, but. Uh, we have the extreme sale going on, 15% discount if you purchase three Beyblade X items. It is an optional way to support the channel. I appreciate any support regardless. And let's now go over the backstory of this Beyblade. So basically you need a Coro Coro to get this, right? So I had to get many, many Coro Coros on a super, super heavy box just to get all of them. But the backstory to this Beyblade is essentially, this is originally Burn Fujiwara's uh, Beyblade and he's basically kind of just testing it out. And after he slaps a bunch of bladers, he decides to mass produce this Beyblade. And the reason why is because Phoenix Feather is very strong and very, very fast. And he wants other bladers to experience this Unseen X. And it plays a little bit into the story later on when he faces Common X. So pretty cool like lore reasons and backstory for this thing's existence. I'll say it's a pretty interesting and smart way to actually implement Koro Koro promotion, you know, because obviously, I, I, I already had to take a look at this thing because this thing looks awesome, but uh, yeah, I think uh, the, the QR code, by the way, for this thing, I'm pretty sure it's in the magazine, it's like some small uh, percentage, whatever, but there is uh, some interesting stuff to talk about with this one, so I want to go over to the part by part. So what's very interesting about this Beyblade, first of all, its little advertised gimmick is that it's supposed to be uh, light, so it's supposed to go super, super fast, whatever, because it's lighter than Drawn Sword. This should be about like 33 grams by what extent I will find out. But I, I do, first of all, the bottom plastic is, I'm pretty sure it's an exact, they, they just ripped it from a drawn sword. But in a way, this bay kind of even makes sense in the design itself, to be honest. Because if you think about it, it's essentially just making a Beyblade that needs to be seen, easily seen by everyone and mass produces the bay. So it kind of makes sense in a way that this Beyblade is so close to that of Drawn Sword. And it's kind of a cool way, like it's basically replicated Drawn Sword, a fast and easy bay mass produced. Again, I actually really like how this <laughs> was introduced narratively. It is not the same as Drawn Sword though. You're gonna notice how different is it? Once our focus clears on this camera, you'll notice what's the main difference here. Pay attention to the wing design, it's a lot different. This section here is a lot different than here. This is what's gonna really make wing a lot different than a uh, drawn sword. This is more of a sharp edge, you know, this is a little bit different, but you're gonna notice the contact points are different in this. So even if this might have a similar shape to drawn sword, don't think this is an exact clone. I think technically speaking, you could call this like, I know I call like, for an example, uh, Lance a variant of shield, but this in a sense is technically a, a true variant in literal design, in literal design to a drawn sword. Also, can we appreciate, by the way, the Phoenix motif design? I think I actually prefer feather over wings design. You can debate in the comments which one you like more. It's just closed versus open wing, but I do like the design of this quite a bit. So because this is Koro Koro promotion, there actually is no bottom part for the blade. Uh, you just get the blade and there's no ratchet or bit. However, if you have a red drawn sword, uh, you just get a 360 and a flat, and then after you basically complete it, which, you know, it makes sense. It makes sense, which now is a little bit interesting. They really saw pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty good on the marketing parts for which you need to actually build this thing. So speaking of a drawn sword, uh, this is my red one. I don't know how heavy it is. I don't have my memory on this. About 34.8 and maybe the heavier ones hit 35 ballpark. Phoenix Feather, I got a heavy one it seems. 33.47, okay damn, okay, 48 grams. And then after for the bottom parts on here, you know, let's just quickly, okay, well, that just felt, let's just quickly weigh them, but 2.2. I am really, really excited just to actually battle with this thing. I'm not too sure what combos actually work with this. I've heard a lot of talks, but I, I wanna see for myself when I actually try it out. 42.05. Um, again, if this was just on beauty and beauty alone, uh, this would get pretty high up. I was a little bit afraid of this Beyblade just because 
This is an attack type, and such an empty section is kind of scaring me, just because, I don't know, I thought it would make me shatter or something, but I have not seen any reports on that, so I'm a little surprised by this uh, design, actually. Really, look at it side by side with drones, so this really is a lot different in its actual shape, and you can actually see the, the variance part of this, so... We're gonna see, oh, if it hits better than drones for it, yeah, I'll be pleased, I'll be pleased. I actually really appreciate this bay a lot. This looks really awesome. All right, well, wait, let's, let, enough talk, let's battle. All righty, so we have our stadium set up right here and our lovely Phoenix Feather. All righty, let us see, let us see. Three, two, one, go shoot. Launcher, three, two, shoot. There you go, beautiful. I'm excited, I'm excited now. All right, I, I'll be joined here by my mother. We'll get like two battles per bay, whatever I want to be grabbing. Let's first start off with Wizard Arrow just to get us started nice. So we don't shoot. Okay, there's uh, I'm, not, I'm noticing some pretty large hits. Okay. Wiz Wizard Arrow kills me the first round. That, that's okay. So we don't shoot. You want to know why it's okay? Because I won. I'll give you one more. Three jumps. Three jumps. Okay, we got shark in it. Three jumps. It definitely does have some pretty big hits. It definitely, like, it, this thing hits really crazy. Three jumps. I know I, I know I said two rounds, but some of this stuff is really fun. So we can shoot. Hey, okay. So you're kind of taking a different launch, and it's working. Okay, we're gonna do our last one for this video. I have me here, Drone Sado. Now we're gonna see who takes it. So we can shoot. Three jumps, shoot. Hey, don't look at me like that. No, hey, hey, bro, take it easy. It was a joke, it was a joke. It was a joke, 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 it was a joke. Shoot. Come on. Three jumps, shoot. One, we're gonna do three in a row and then that's it. Three jumps, shoot. One loss. Okay, we're only ending when I get the three wins. Consecutive. We can shoot. God damn it. Oh my god. One. Okay. Still two. No, it, it gets resets. Oh, okay. First you get three okay. consecutive. Three can shoot. Now it resets again. Now it's you. This goes until someone gets three in a row. Okay, okay. Three can shoot. Oh my god! Please. Yes! No! Yes! No, Beat the no, shit no. out of it! No! No, 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 no! Fuck! Yes! High five! Oh, for the camera, you have to do the high five. Get in the shot. Not with this. <laughs> Queen, the feather, and the wing. Which one do you like more? To be honest with you, this one. Well,. They can purchase this one at our store right now. That's how you get the plug, ladies and gentlemen. No shame on this channel, no shame. Uh, but no, for actual final thoughts, uh, I suspect most likely, uh, probably not on the flat family, so like your low flat, probably not even giga flat. I think probably like observing this, and I could be wrong, but I feel like point or even taper would probably make some sense where it uses a mix of it, because it's got pretty decent aggression on first impressions. But you know, aggression and like a little bit of that stamina, because you saw it kind of fill. Obviously, these are stock battles. These are very vague to kind of put a put a, an idea for uh, what works for what. But obviously, we gotta battle these two. You know, that's gotta be one of the first ones we do. After that, we can just do the proper drawn sword versus phoenix wing match, and we see who's better, the the the, the phoenix or the sword. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye.